Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to another live stream. Hi there, it's Peter here, the guy who hates tomatoes but loves front end development. Thanks for tuning in for my next broadcast. In today's broadcast, it's not a live deconstruction, it's not a live coding session. I just have plenty of links that I want to share with you. Okay, so let me know in the comments where are you tuning in from. As you know, I like traveling and I like to travel on Thursday afternoon or evening for me around the world. So let me know where are you tuning in from and we'll get into the content very shortly. I've got some exciting news for you. And yeah, the thing at the end of this broadcast, I think you will be very happy with it. And hopefully you will jump on that other thing and join it as well. Okay. Hello to Just Beer. Hello to Pe Pivan. Pivan Kumar is in the house. Hello, hello, Just Beer. Good to see you. We've got Unix Two Dos. Wow, what a nickname! Hello, welcome to the broadcast. Oscar is in the house. Greetings, Jezri Meteor as well. Jacques as well. Hello, Jacques. Nice to see you. Even if you used to hate tomatoes how come you are suddenly not hating them anyway that's very interesting you know i hate tomatoes but by the way i'll just share my title here for the new guys in the broadcast my name is peter and i am the guy behind this i hate tomatoes channel i hate tomatoes blog where i talk about and write tutorials about front end development coding so react javascript anything to do with creative coding animations transitions, anything related to things looking good. That's what I'm interested in. And that's what I record tutorials. Okay. Who else is in the house? We've got Audrey. Hello. Pivan from India. South Africa is in the house. Jacques, the guy who used to hate tomatoes and doesn't like, likes them now, is, is in the house. Wow. From South Africa. New Zealand is in the house. Spain, wow, today we have really the whole world. Paris in France. Today it looks like a full house. Wow, you guys keep surprising me every single time I come online. Okay, we've got a Belgium, Dan from Belgium. Always good to see someone from Belgium. We've got India in the house. Shanavas, hello, greetings to India. Upper Deep as well. Wow, I'll be greeting today the whole broadcast. So many people over here, but we have to also get into the content. Okay, two more greetings. Hello to Bulgaria, to Scan Rock and Hussein. That's his first time on this channel and that is something special. Okay, hopefully it's not the last one. <laughs> Alrighty, so I have uh, some news for you before we get into the proper content. I Okay, no sound. I stuffed up again. Apologies for that. So let's go back to the React Workshop survey that I'm currently running on my site. And this happened to me before as well. Every time I switch to the desktop or to my to my broad to my browser, it drops off. But now I know you can hear me. Okay. Sorry, apologies, putting my hand up. It happened last time. And it happened today again, and that's not <laughs> that's not something that I'm proud of. So I'll need to fix it next time. Every time I switch the scenes, it drops off. Okay. 
Anyway, so back to the workshop uh, survey. Um, uh, I wanted to ask you who are watching my YouTube tutorials, what would you like to learn next in my premium courses? As you know, I've got a few free online courses on my site and now I'm revamping the premium ones. And this survey, I'm asking a few questions regarding what would you like to learn next? What, 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 what effects, transitions and animations you've seen around that you would like to see breaking down in my tutorials. Okay, so if you've got a few spare minutes, jump onto my website. The link is under the description of the video and answer these few questions. And that will give me idea what, what kind of demos, what kind of projects you would like to learn in this workshop. And then I'll sit down and code it, break it down, make sure that I record it so you can learn some cool effects, some modern, modern websites, animations. I would like to teach that in that new workshop. Okay, so if you've got a few minutes, jump in there. I'll go back to the main screen. Apologies for the audio, really. <laughs> Not sure why, why it drops when I switch to my browser. Any new faces in the house? Any new faces? Hopefully, just confirm that you hear me now because I see a lot, a lot of the other comments saying that uh, no audio, but I know you, you, you can hear me now. I can see it now. Let me know. Just, just give me. By the way, if you're enjoying this broadcast, put aside the, the muted minute, hit the like button, and, and that that will make my day. Okay. Let's go to some of the comments. No audio, no audio, no audio. That's good. Shanavas, I'm your subscriber and really like your videos. You are a good teacher. You are a good student. You are a great student. You are one of the best students. <laughs> okay, Shanavas, greetings. All righty. So the next one, the next thing that I wanted to talk about, oops, the next thing I wanted to talk about, yeah, yeah, keep smashing the like button. Not just two, there's more of you guys. So the next thing is part of this workshop that I'm working on. Hopefully I'm not muted now. No, I am not. Part of the new workshop is actually this slider that I'll share with you. I'll just resize the window a little bit because it's not meant to be a full screen slideshow. And in this slideshow, you will learn how to transition things out of the screen how to bring the new, the right project in. So it's it's about building the composition of animating out, animating in two different timelines and then triggering them at the right time and also making the same, making the same animation in the reverse side. So if you go to the previous, you want to have exactly the same animation, not reverse animation, but different one. So the project coming out goes away by specific timeline and the new one comes in as well. Okay, so it is a flipped animation. So it happens both ways consistent. And that's what we will learn in this project. Okay, when, I hit, when I'm hitting the dot in the middle, also if you can see, I don't know, maybe it's too small for the screen, the dot jumps to the right index as well. Okay, so all this will be covered in one of these projects that we will be working on in my new premium courses. Okay, so that's that's one news. The other one, talking about GreenSock, I'll just resize it to full screen, is that GreenSock's running this code pen, code pen, code pen challenge, code pen challenge. Yes, this is not so hard, Peter. Come on, code pen challenge. And this week, if you submit code pen demo that covers, that explains, or that actually shows slider, if you create any slider, if you create a sliding animation, whatever you think sliding animation is, it doesn't have to be slider, then you can win one year shockingly green membership. Okay, so they're giving away three of them. And all you have to do just create a code pen demo. I think there is a link to the template that you can use and start working on your slider. The previous two weeks, there was a sequencing and bubbling couple of winners and now the demo that you need to submit is about creating sliding animation okay so if you are into sliders and sliding animations and if you want to win shockingly green membership which is awesome gives you access to some of the plugins and bonuses for the members then you can just submit the code pen and the jury that is on the list and there are some very good animators on that list 
will decide which three of you will win. Okay, so that is a code pen challenge by Greensock. And here, following on a, on a, following on the slider, this is a really cool website that I came across, Delasus Group. I just love this sliding animation, and it, it's all done using Canvas. Slides next to to the next slide in a nice, elegant fashion, full screen canvas. And also when you click on the discover, I really like the transition to the next page. Okay, everything animates out to the side, brings the content above it and really like the transition. Again, canvas shrinking and repositioning a little bit of the elements on top of it, but without canvas, this would not happen. Okay, so maybe you can recreate something like this in CodePen send it to Greensock and I'm sure you would definitely get that green membership, shockingly green membership. What a great name, by the way, Greensock, shockingly green membership, feels very playful, okay? How are we enjoying the broadcast so far? Hopefully you're working on something exciting. Hopefully you're working on something good today. I know situation is not the best for everyone everywhere in the world, but Hopefully you have a little escape like this channel, like your work, like your projects, where you can just creatively out, creatively outlet all your energy and do something amazing. Okay. Don't forget to smash the like button. If you have any questions, by the way, let me know. I've got one more news, the big news that I'll share with you in a moment. But if you have any questions, let me know. I'm happily, happily answer any questions to the links I've shown previously and then we will get into it okay going back to going back to this slider the sh snack, snacking tomatoes are there's something about these shapes these low polygon shapes just makes it so easily to look at really really cool low polygon animation 3d shapes really like that really creative and yeah that's done using 3js really cool and also what's what's great on this side when you're dragging it when you're animating it out you see how the word the letter c and o actually expand and stretch creates this this flexible elastic effect really cool really cool delasus group and it's using green sock behind the scenes as well okay so we are gonna get to the biggest news and as you know <laughs> already i gave it away in the title of the video the awards also mentioned it in the comments as well. Greetings to the awards, whoever that is. I know awards is a big team. So greetings to Spain. Thanks for tuning in. And the big news is that next week, next, th next Thursday, we'll be hosting, I'll be hosting the first ever live design jury website review. Okay, well, where we will be talking with two other members of the awards jury and we'll be talking about a couple websites we'll break them down we'll we'll say what we like what we don't like what could be improved and all of us are from a different part of the digital industry so we'll have different points of view and i'll be joined by kiara and then next week oops i didn't meant to didn't want to click on it oh luckily it doesn't go anyway good <laughs> so this uh, first workshop or first First live design jury will be with me, Kiara, and Dan, and we'll be talking about a few websites that we've selected. But you will also be able to jump in, ask any questions like you can ask me now. You will be able to ask me any questions, ask us any questions, and we'll we'll just talk about good, nicely looking sites of today. Okay. Looking good awards. You always looking good. <laughs> So that is the biggest news. It will happen next week on Thursday at 11 o'clock UTC. So it is actually in five minutes. It will be exactly in one week. All right. So whoever's watching now, you'll be able to watch this broadcast as well. Okay. The broadcast happens through a little bit different platform. So I will not have the same, same setup. I'll have a little bit different application that we will be running these reviews through. But my other setup will remain the same. So if you're enjoying my deconstructions, you'll 120% will like the award live jury website deconstructions. Okay. 
Greetings to uh, Yannick. Hello, hello. Any new faces? Anyone new? I'll go back to start of the broadcast. Wanting to greet again someone who was here for the first time. And uh, where it is? Hussein. First time on the broadcast. How lucky are you to jump on this one? And it's your first one. <laughs> Greetings wherever you're tuning in from. So that was the biggest news. Artem, great to see you again. Hello. Great to see you on the broadcast. That was the biggest news. Live design jury website reviews next Thursday, 11 o'clock UTC. I hope to see you there. Hope you're working on something exciting. And I'll see you in my future videos. Until then, happy coding.